are a lot of exciting things happening at Five Church Restaurant in downtown Charleston. In this edition of Quintin's Post-Ups, I speak exclusively with executive chef Adam Hudson one-on-one. -on -one. And be sure to download the free Quintin's Post-Ups app in your Apple or Google Play stores. Chef Adam Hudson, welcome back to Quintin's Post-Ups. How you doing, bud? Oh, doing great, actually. Obviously, we're sitting here at Five Church, which is home for you because you're an executive chef here. What is it like to be you these days as an executive chef? Well, it's real busy. Um, we got a lot of stuff going on. We're about to do a menu change uh, a week or two, going from uh, a winter menu to more of a, a kind of late winter, early spring. Uh, we're going to be working a lot with some local purveyors and local farmers and stuff like that, getting some really nice, beautiful fruits and veggies and uh, you know some stuff to work with and offer our guests. Sure. Which one of those fruits and vegetables really describes the menu here at Buy Church? Oh man, um, well, you know, working every day with, with places like Grow Food sure. um, and just your random farmers and even stuff like um, <clears throat> your local pork and chicken and stuff, I, I use Keegan Philly and Farms a lot for that. Um, I mean, it's hard to, just to, to pick just one, you know, we, we as chefs like to, you know, spread the love throughout all the guys that are doing this stuff locally and really promote what they're doing um you know because it's just as important for them to survive as it is for you know everyone else to sure. um so as far as picking just one thing that would be hard but you know we we go for we strive for excellence here and putting out the best product that we possibly can and so we feel that using local product that has a lot of love and care put into it is is you know, vital to our success. Absolutely. And you talk about obviously products. Uh, when look when you look at the five church menu right now, which one of those menu items describes you as an executive chef? Oh man. Um, oh, we've got a lot of stuff on our menu that's great. Um, I mean, one of my favorite items right now on our menu is our braised lamb shank, okay. and uh, it's sad that it's soon it's going to be too warm <laughs> to serve that. <laughs> Um, but I'm just a big fan of, of braised meats. Sure. Um, it's they're super homey, right? Comforting, right? And you know you get that that feeling of uh, like nostalgia, right? You know, so that's that's one of my favorite things to do. That and pasta, pasta, yeah. yeah. I'm a big fan of pasta. Of course, our, our <laughs> rate of ravioli is very how best selling here. It, it is. And obviously, when you talk about the menus and you talk about the excellence, we gotta talk about the new restaurant that's coming next door, Tempest Charleston. Yeah, it's exciting. We're uh, company wide. We're we're thrilled that we're doing this project. Um, you know, highlighting local, sustainable seafood and done done well. I mean, it's it's Charleston, yes. and, and that's what we're looking forward to. We're gonna have a lot of fun with that one. That is so exciting. And you talk about fun. Let's talk about the upcoming Charleston Wine and Food Festival. You're returning once again this year. What can we expect from you this year? Um, oh, a whole lot of fun, actually. Um, I just got my my list of of events the other day and. Um, I'm really thrilled to be uh, involved in some of them, or all, all of them, of yes. course, but there's a couple of them really, I'm really excited about. Um, but, you know, the Wine and Food Festival is great. You know, we get a chance to get our names out there, uh, get our food out there to the masses, um, meet new chefs in town, meet current chefs in town, build relationships with them, build relationship, relationships with the people that are coming to try your food. Um, so it's a real good opportunity for, for us as chefs to, to get our name out there and, and you know, learn more about the community and, and, you know, what everyone's looking for as far as the cuisine. That's exactly right. And what is the state of the restaurant business here in Charleston right now, in your mind? Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, we have tons of restaurants here that are doing well and the, foods, the food scene is booming. Um, you know, we have a lot of great chefs in, in Charleston that are putting out a great product. Um, and, you know, you got to stay on your toes, with, you know, 24-7. If um, you know you want to do well in this town, and so it really pushes us and inspires us every day to to be the best that we can be. How do you stay successful in this town as executive chef? Uh, constantly doing research and motivating your team. You know that's that's what it comes down to. Every day you have to stay on your team, keep them motivated, keep them focused, and you know doing your research and and coming up with new techniques to to wow your guests. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly right. Well. Chef Adam Hodson, thank you so much for your time. And again, welcome back to Quintin's Close Ups. Thanks, bud. You're welcome. Yeah.